Hello everyone. Uh, I'm just taking a look at the developer's preview of Windows 8. Uh, I've installed this in a dual boot situation with uh, Windows 7. And um, I just thought I'd give you my thoughts so far on it. Uh, I realize it's not finished. Um, the first thing I noticed that was different, uh, I wish I could show you, but is when you first install and then you go to set up your uh, username, um, they ask you for your email address, specifically your Windows Live or your Hotmail address. And what that does is it logs you in automatically to all the uh, Windows Live services. And uh, the neat thing about that is uh, it's built around, the whole OS is built around a roaming access. So for example, last night I had this installed in a virtual machine and I made some adjustments, some personalizations, and then I decided, well, I'm gonna have this in, uh, have this running on the hard drive. And when I finished logging in, and you know the the Windows was finished setting up, I noticed that the personalizations I made were carried over from what I did in uh, the virtual machine. So that's really something. Uh, interesting and kind of neat actually I think so whatever you change or whatever you have in uh, in your customizations will be kept no matter what you do um, as long as you have your lo login with your live account um, now there's been a lot of a uh, uh, lot of complaints or um, disappointment with the Metro UI and yes it is a lot of uh, touch based you know like a phone or tablet um, however I'm pretty sure that once you know the f more builds come along in the final version uh, there will be a start menu now there is a uh, program out already 24 hours later um, that uh, you can switch between you can toggle between classic start menu um, and uh, Metro um, which is fine. Um, it works. Uh, the only thing I think, in my experience, is I had to do a reboot to make the settings stick. It seemed a little funny. Okay, so anyway, um, when I press the, either when I, if I hover over down here, the start menu, it brings up the time and uh, the date and I can search share which are called charms for some reason devices settings I have a, if I go to settings uh, it took me a while to figure this out how to shut restart the computer it's from going to settings so settings and I don't think this is finished yet but uh, it says power here and there's sleep shut down and restart there's no logout option though however if I go back, let's go to the Metro screen. I click on my name. There's the log off or to lock or to change the user tile. So yes, this is a Metro UI, uh, Metro user interface. Um, I've already been uh, messing around with a few things. And to navigate this without uh, a touch screen, if you have a mouse wheel, you can mouse wheel down and up to go across or you can use the page down or the page up. Uh, to, to go in between the different uh, applications you can just use the arrow keys or just use your mouse of course um, to get through. So let's go back. Uh, actually I wanted to do one thing is uh, what's neat is uh, I'll, I'll back to desk pressing start press start again I start typing I want to find out the Windows version so it's usually WinVer and as you can see right here it's come up so WinVer it'll go desktop and bring this up Windows developer preview expires on uh, the third I guess third month yeah or yeah obviously so uh, March uh, 11th of 2012 at 8 7:59 p.m. and it's build 6 to well, whatever. Okay, it goes on forever. But that's the version that we're using, that I'm looking at today. So, I press OK. Uh, what else was there? Oh, yeah. 
Uh, this is the Windows Explorer as we saw in uh, Windows 7. The libraries, libraries that you could uh, <coughs> customize and access. And if you noticed here, a little uh, tool comes up here, and that is the ribbon interface. And this here expands it, and it gives you a little tool tip control F1 if you want to use the keyboard. And this is the you know ribbon as you saw in Office and stuff. So you could rename this. If you're at the home key, delete, rename, copy to, etc. Share. I don't know. Uh, you can change the view here. You can manage, restore settings, save location, manage the library, optimize library for music, pictures, etc. So everything in the Explorer is kind of like uh, sensitive to what um, you're using. So if I go to computer, and I go over to hard drive. I'll expand this. You can rename it or any other kind of relative things to the computer itself on the install program. As you can see here, go back, open control panel. There's your classic control panel. And system properties that you're basically seeing in Windows 7. Yes, it's a low. Uh, it, rating. Uh, the drivers are actually uh, sample experimental drivers uh, from the developers. I don't know if it's eight. I'm using an ATI graphics card. So I'm not sure if it's from ATI or both Microsoft. I'm not really sure. So that's the ribbon interface in Windows 8 so far. And I made a custom uh, explore because I like to go to the root drive. So Right here, you can have that, and it's fairly simple. It's just uh, go to properties. You change it uh, from uh, don't name it Windows Explorer, call it something else. So I'll see Windows Explorer dot exe slash e, and then a comma, no spaces, c colon forward slash, which is uh, for the C drive. So yes, see here again, C. Uh, what else is there? I don't know. Um, oh, yeah, we better look at uh, some more of this Metro stuff. That goes to the desktop, obviously. Um, Internet Explorer, there's two versions. Uh, let me show you the classic one. It's exactly pretty much uh, Internet Explorer 9. A little more polished up, I guess. And you have your developer tools and stuff. Just, you know, it's, it's the same as it was. Uh, and now in Metro, we open Internet Explorer. Um, the last thing page I was on was looking for gadgets. And if you noticed, there it goes. If you notice, it's completely full screen. And it scrolls up and down quite nicely. Um, when I right click somewhere in a white space, it'll bring up recently opened. Uh, window um, sites I had um, down here I can pin this particular page to my um, uh, UI panel uh, let me see I was looking at codex so let me see what's this shark codex so say if I want to reference it to this so I just go to that pin it and it says pin shark double seven dot net pin to start so Back to start. Where'd he go? Sometimes they get to, uh, there it is. And as you notice, these are movable, draggable. So I can uh, maybe organize these in types that I have. This is sort of like the uh, what they have in Windows 7 where you pin a website to the taskbar. Similar. So explore, open it up, right click somewhere on a white space. Oops. Where'd it go? Okay, now it's not working. Yeah, it's not 100%, I know. <laughs> um, what's going on? Yeah, and sometimes it reloads. There we go. So, let's see this game spot that I was looking at, uh, Gears of War. Uh, and if you don't want these anymore, you just delete them. 
Uh, you can do the same in. Um, oops, I didn't mean to do that. Is right click. I don't know what that sound is. I have no idea. Alarm. Oh, the alarm. Okay. So you can remove that. Remove with the confirmation dialog. One second. Back to desktop. Thank you. Okay, I'm over 10 minutes. Sorry about that. Uh, what else was there? Uh, most drivers work. I downloaded uh, Realtek audio drivers. I downloaded G15 drivers. And that's about it so far. I don't, I'm going over 10 minutes. I know I have a little longer, but that's about it so far. And as I said, I'm sure that this will change. The share thing is weird. Share a screenshot. Like, I mean, Socialite is basically Facebook. And uh, the it doesn't seem to work 100% yet. You do have things like Twitter and uh, the build site, of course. Windows build. Um, this opens up an explorer. I think. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, I'm just toggling back and forth, hitting the Windows key. And if I want to go desktop, I just go like so. So um, that's about it, I think. Um, it, it's really interesting so far what they're doing. Like I said, I'm pretty sure they'll have the start menu in there. <laughs> and there is a fix out there if you want to use it. Um, if I find out, I'll put the link in the description part of the um, page. Okay. So that's about it, and uh, as always, I thanks very much for watching. If you have any comments or whatever, just uh, feel free to write them down. Thank you, and have a great one, and bye for now.